On behalf of the National Federation of Cypriots in the UK, I would like to express our warm wishes to the entire community for a very Merry Christmas and the happiest of New Year's for 2024. Now, this year, regrettably, hasn't seen the progress that we would have wanted on the Cyprus issue. However, the newly elected President of the Republic, Mr Nikos Sodoridis, has made it his mission to resume negotiations as soon as possible within the agreed UN framework. Sadly, President Erdogan and Mr Tatar continue to push their partitionist agenda. But as your Federation, we've remained steadfast in our mission to ensure that the Cyprus issue remains on the political agenda here in the UK. We launched our Hands Off Cyprus campaign and reached 392 MPs, that's 60% of MPs. We hosted our annual parliamentary event where we heard from the Cypriot foreign minister, British ministers, opposition ministers, and many parliamentary friends from across the political spectrum. We held our Cyprus Information Day where we engaged with over 21 parliamentarians. And of course, we've continued to engage with the Foreign Office and other stakeholders throughout the year. Our work maintaining the Cyprus issue on the UK political agenda is only possible because of your support. And next year will mark 50 years since Turkey's illegal invasion and continued occupation of the Republic of Cyprus. So our collective effort is more important than ever before. As your Federation, it is our great pride to represent you, our UK Cypriot diaspora, and to advance your interests. In the first year of the newly elected government of Cyprus, we've already met with the President of the Republic, Mr Nigos Stodolidis, the President of the Cypriot Parliament, Ms. Anedeli Vidriu, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Energy, Commerce and Industry, the Minister of Defence and the Deputy Minister of Tourism, all to discuss the issues that are important to you. It was also our great pleasure to start this year with over 500 people attending our Celebration of Cyprus Gala Dinner with guest of honour, former President Nikos Anastasiadis. In one room, there was everyone from UK ministers and parliamentarians, leading members of our diaspora and civic leaders, all of whom joined us to belatedly celebrate 60 years of the Republic of Cyprus. Yet, for all these achievements, it would be remiss of me not to mention that many in our diaspora continue to struggle with the effects of the cost of living crisis. However, our community is there for you and continues to step up. Whether that's opening food banks and community centres as warm spaces, or providing meals on wheels for vulnerable, or gifts for those in need. To those who may be struggling, our community is there for you so please do reach out if you are in need. The passing of a new year is always a new opportunity to redouble our efforts and look at what we can all do differently, be it for Cyprus, the UK, or our community. I wish you all a very blessed Christmas and a happy and healthy new year for 2024.